Let's see how can we create the homogeneous graphs using DGL. DGL stands for the Deep Graph Library. First, let's try to install the DGL on our Google Colab. Let's go to DGL.ai official website. Okay. So here you can see the installation option. So when you open this install, so you can see all the installation options here. Okay. So for now, I don't want to install the CUDA version. I just want to install the CPU version. So I'm keeping it as none. And I want to install the pip stable package. And uh, uh, as we know that uh, Google Colab uses the Linux operating system. So I'm keeping it as Linux. And I'm also keeping the Python version as 3.7. So when we choose these options, it will give us a command to run. Okay, so I'm just copying this command. Let's go back to our Google Colab. Let's just run this command to install the DGL on Google Colab. So this command will install the DGL library on our Google Colab. So after installing the DGL library, let's import DGL. Okay. So and also one more point to note here. If you see in the official website, they are saying DGL is framework agnostic. That is, you can build your models using PyTorch, TensorFlow or Apache MXNet. But by default, DGL comes with PyTorch. Okay. And also my personal favorite is PyTorch. And also there is bigger community for PyTorch, uh, you know, and uh, better documentation and more model implementations are there for PyTorch in DGL. So I'm going with the PyTorch. Okay. So that's why along with the DGL, we also need to import the Torch library. Okay. So we don't need to install Torch separately. It will install along with the DGL installation. Okay. So I just imported DGL and Torch. So now let's try to create a homogeneous graph using DGL. Okay. So this is the graph which we have already seen in one of our previous videos, but uh, only one change. So I just make this graph as a directed graph. So this is a directed homogeneous graph because all the nodes in this graph are of same type and all the, all the edges in this graph are also of same type. And also, if you observe the node IDs in this graph, the node IDs are starting from zeros. But in our previous video, we have seen that the node IDs are starting from one. But in DGL, everything is zero indexed. So all the node IDs, edge IDs, so everything starts from zero. Okay. So now I'm just representing this directed homogeneous graph as a simple source node ID and destination node ID lists. Okay. So if you take any edge on this graph, every edge will have a source node and a destination node, right? So we can represent all these eight edges using its source node ID and destination node ID. Okay. So I'm just representing all of these eight different edges using their source node IDs and destination node IDs. So to create this graph, we have a method in DGL called DGL.graph. Okay. So let's say I wanted to store my graph in the graph uh, variable. And let's say I'm going to create the graph using dgl.graph method. And let's see uh, what is the input that this uh, method takes. Okay. So if you observe, there are different parameters uh, that this method takes. Okay. But most of these parameters are, you know, uh, they they have like default values. So they are like optional parameters. Most of the parameters are optional. But data is the one that we need to pass. Let's see what is the format of data. Okay. So data refers to the graph data and uh, you know, there are different ways uh, that we can pass this graph data. And one of the ways is to pass the tuple of tensors. Okay. So it's a tuple which is having two tensors. So one tensor refers to the source nodes. The other tensor refers to the destination nodes. Okay. So before passing the input, just let's uh, create the source node IDs and destination node IDs. So I'll create source node IDs. So I'll create it as a tensor. Okay. Tensor of source node IDs. So what are our source node IDs? So these are all our source node IDs. Okay. So I'll put it as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. Okay. And also let's create the destination node IDs. Okay. Destination node IDs. Okay. Again, I'll create it as torch dot tensor and the values are one comma two, four, two, three, three, four and four. Okay. So now this tensor represents our source node IDs and this tensor represents our destination node IDs. Okay. So you can see 
there is a edge between node 0 and node 1 similarly there is an edge between node 0 and node 2 node 0 and node 4 so on okay so now we have created two tensors one tensor of source node ids other tensor of destination node ids now dgl graph accepts a tuple of tensors right so now let's just pass a tuple of source node ids okay tuple of source node ids and destination node ids and destination node ids okay so let's also print the graph and see what it returns okay so i am printing the graph here so you can see it has returned a graph object with five different nodes you can see the number of nodes are five and you can see the number of edges are eight okay so this is how we can create a simple homogeneous graph using dgl graph method okay let's see uh, more details on this in the further videos okay thank you